Namaste and wagwan people, what's going on? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing well today, man, and I just wanted to do a relatively quick video on these proposed or leaked Chelsea kits going into the next season. That's right, the 1920-21 campaign, if it is indeed ever to start. Ugh. There's been some shirt concepts leaked and Pretty much, I want to talk about this graphic edit released by BR Football, which is actually very good, by the way, in terms of edit quality. And I want to talk about the kits and my opinions on them and pretty much get everyone else's opinion on them. So I'm going to quickly talk about each kit in the graphic edit and also pretty much offer my opinion. But first, a quick reminder to you gang out there to subscribe to Football Therapy if you've not yet done so because I upload videos every single day and surely you want guys want to keep up right so bell notifications icon you know like the video all that gear let's get on with the video right so before we analyze this particular edit by br football the third kit obviously <laughs> is causing a lot of uh, debate and conversations i think footy leaks actually leaked out the third kit uh, originally um, granted in this br edit it looks a lot better on hakim siesh but it's kind of a radical design this is the kind of football kit you know let's just start with this kit okay because this is the most talked about kit this third kit or proposed leaked third kit it's the kind of like radical shirt design that chelsea fans might look back on in 10 years ago oh that was a lovely kit do you know what I mean? But at the time you're thinking, oh, what are you thinking? It's like that cause like kit that are you, Chelsea fans either absolutely love or absolutely hate. Remember that kit? You know, the weird orange one? Personally, not one of my faves, but it's a cult classic. This Chelsea third kit of this campaign could be seen <laughs> as one of those kits in the future. First of all, it looks like Crystal Palace's home kit. Let's be real, it's the same colours. I'm not going anything against a shirt being mainly red, like, you know, Man United recently have had all blue kits uh, as, like, third kits, and I'll do, like, mixing it up, provided it's not your home and main kit, or even away kit. I get how the third kit's been a bit, a bit different. For me, it just looks like Crystal Palace's home kit, and the player that first came into my mind when looking at it was Ruben Loftus-Cheek. I, I was thinking, you know, I can see him wearing that, and then I was like, oh, the only reason why I can see him wearing that is because he had a loan at Crystal Palace. Personally, I don't dig it. I really like the kit that we've got now, that black kit. Sure, the colour's a little bit radical, but generally, as a third kit, I really do like all of Chelsea's uh, football kits at the moment for this current campaign. Granted, people don't like the pattern on the home kit. I do, I think it's different. Everyone loves the away kit, the white mod shirt, because that's proper Chelsea. And a lot of people like the third kit, so I think they've done all right this year, but going into next year, we'll talk about the sponsor in a moment. Sure, that's a bit radical, but that third kit, man, that is a little bit too much for me. Do you know what else it is, quickly, just to stay on the third kit for a moment? It's the stripes, like the half stripes. I mean, maybe like a color scheme thing. Chelsea always have a little bit of red on their kit, so I get it, put some more red on the kit. But the stripes, no, I don't dig it. For me, I'm not into it, and I'm really interested in hearing what you guys have to say about that radically peculiar third kit. We'll wait and talk about the sponsor at the end, because obviously that's a huge talking point. But let's talk about that away kit in this edit, particularly, like this proposed leaked kit. Generally, I kind of like it. I like the trim on the neck, the blue on the white. I mean, the white away kit makes a lot of sense. Um, it's not as good as the current away kit, the sort of mod vibe with the collar, but I get how they couldn't just do the same thing again. Nike are going to constantly try and mix it up a little bit, so they've had to go with this. In this particular edit, it's got those little sort of watermarked lines on it, white line things, whatever you could call them. I actually think it's a little bit of a throwback, not like a, the mod collar throwback, kind of different. It almost gives me like 90s vibes, but with the sort of modern white style what am i talking about pretty much i like the simplicity and hopefully it isn't like really tight vapor fit i like maybe if they brought back a bit of bagginess like the 90s shirt style i'd actually really like that i'd be backing that and generally like much of the home kit which we're going to talk about in a second this away kit wouldn't upset me really at all i think it's nice it's simple it's different enough to the current color uh white kit maybe not as good but i understand how you've got to go different so then when you bring up back another vibe it's fresh it's new so i dig it and i'm keen to get your thoughts on that proposed away kit 
which of course brings us to the Chelsea home kit in blue and like the away kit generally I like it if we are to believe the BR edit which we looked at in the graphic I think it has a really really nice color the little white trim how it's perhaps not equal all the way around I dig it I dig the blue it's the right color of blue even though I like the current home kit with the sort of backed graphic, you know, the Stamford Bridge parts that loads of people didn't like, and I kind of get why loads of people didn't like it. This one's much more simple, although it's not like a flat royal blue, it's got a little bit of a sort of watermarky background of a pattern, but not too radical, so perhaps some of the older Chels don't get too irate with the design. I like it, I like the trim, I like the colour, and like I said, hopefully these kits are a little bit baggier, but that's just me thinking, oh, I'd like a 90s throwback gives me like Viali vibes you know that would be wicked but with the new crisp colors and the new decent material but hey that's just me speculating a little bit so let's talk about the sponsor when we heard we were getting three instead of Yokohama we thought oh god that's weird it's not gonna be the logo free is it because I'm not too into that and then we all spoke oh sometimes it's written in the text free that would be good and then we thought yeah that actually looked quite cool yeah i dig that as a sponsor hopefully it says three and not the actual logo free but everything that's come out since kind of insinuates it's going to be the logo and the number free at first i hate it and i generally still don't like it much but maybe i could get i could get on with it i think yokohama was actually a really good sponsor in terms of the visual aesthetic on the kit i kind of like like that i dig it the free inherently isn't great but i think after a while i'd get around it and it's not too busy that's the positive about it although a lot of chelsea fans understandably aren't too crazy about the logo it is simple it's not busy um obviously the word free wouldn't be too busy especially in comparison to some but it just being one soft shape as a free it's kind of simplistic and maybe after a while we might see the kit more than the logo because it's not so dominating if you catch my drift i tweeted br's image out on my social medias and i did see a funny comment that made me laugh oh god we cannot lose three nil wearing this kit because the banter would be unbearable and you know what that is true that is true. I mean, winning 3-0 will be quite funny. Like, oh, we wear the 3 on our shirt. But losing 3-0 with the 3 sponsor on your chest. I don't know if Chelsea Football Club thought about that. But that might suck. I mean, Bayern Munich fans, if we've been wearing that sponsor this season after coming to the bridge and winning 3-0 football twitter <laughs> would be making so many memes with that logo on the chelsea players chest after losing 3-0 still generally i'm getting on board with the idea i wasn't sure at first but more i look at kit designs and maybe these kits are going to be the legitimate kits and when we see them on players it might be good who knows Point being, Chelsea have obviously done the free deal because it's lucrative, they're smart when it comes to sp sponsorship deals and marketing and all that gear, and I don't think it actually looks that bad. Hopefully, <laughs> I will be maybe a little bit reluctant to buy a home kit myself. We'll have to see, man. It might look alright. We might all, you know, feel okay with it, but I want to get your thoughts and opinions on these kits for next season, if indeed they are the kits. Of course, we don't know for certain, they're just leaks at the moment, but often these leaks, let's be real, often the leaks are real and legitimate, so we have a good reason to be suspicious of this being legitimate, is what I'm saying. So tell me what you think, get down in the comment section below and express your thoughts and feelings on these free proposed kits. Do you like them? Do you not like them? What about the sponsor? How do you feel about it? Try and be positive, and I'll be down in the comment section below reading your thoughts and opinions opinions on this and if you've enjoyed the content today guys please do like this video that means a lot i really would appreciate that remember to subscribe to football therapy if you're indeed new to the channel and of course a quick shout out to my second channel yan's yard where i am playing fifa 20 chelsea career mode every day on a live stream around 5 or 6 p.m not only that i've been uploading additional content on yan's yard not daily but every now and again i'll you know chuck an upload on there so do go check it out i'll leave a link in the top of the description and it won't just be chelsea related stuff eventually not only that it might not just be football related stuff eventually it's a sort of different platform where i can express myself and do do different fun stuff pretty much the stuff that you guys want me to do so you can guide the content essentially which is an exciting and empowering thing for you the viewer uh, what else also maybe follow me on social media at yeah, football yannick on both instagram and twitter 
that's it for me, you lot. Enjoy the football that sadly isn't happening at the moment, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me, bitch